No, I, I just want to start and start it off. For some reason, I don't know why. I'm just sitting in my seat. I just want to start it off with, hey, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, all right. So here's the secrets of TV advertising. Um, I've worked with Channel 4 for quite a while, and there are some things that I actually learned there when I got into the business. I've only been doing this for a year that I was like, what? Really? So um, we'll start off with the simple stuff, and that's basically marketing. Um, and, and CJ knows a lot about this, but the three big things that you want to do for, for your strategy in any kind of medium uh, would be you want to get your reach, your frequency, and your message. Um, the reach is how many people that you're going to reach, and that, especially in that initial time. The frequency is how many times you reach that targeted person. And, and then your message. And the message is uh, by far one of the most important things that you can do. Um, and uh, I'm sure CJ can speak to that. So I have, um, it, it might be a little hard to see, but what I have here is one of, a client of mine who um, wanted an estimate on if he got 40 spots for 500 bucks during Rachel Ray. Um, this basically gives him, you know, one time viewed, um, 122,403 people are going to see that person's commercial one time. By the time we get down to like 23 plus times viewed, you know, there's going to be 9,289 people that are going to see that commercial. Uh, actually, that was 22, but 22 times. So you can see that that basically the more commercials, you know, the first there's a lot of people that you're going to reach, um, and then the more commercials you have, the more you're going to drive it home, and these people down here um, are going to see your commercials a heck of a lot. I mean, if I start seeing, you know, Salino and Barnes like 23 times, I go crazy. Um, you know, how many times can they be my injury attorney, which they're not? Um, the importance of message. I always like to tell my, my clients what not to say. Everybody loves to say family-owned business, but really, do we like everybody in our family? Is there a family member that's going to, like, you know, stab you in the back, push you around? You know, those people. Um, wide, spacious aisles. You know, what does that really mean to you? Um, plenty of parking. You know, a lot of people, they, they believe it or not, when I go into these meetings, they're like, hey, it's family-owned business. You know, we came back to the area. We have spacious aisles, friendly for, for family, all this stuff, and low, low prices. Um, those are great, and, that, and, that, and that's um, it's very interesting, but I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of times it doesn't catch everybody's attention. So I'm going to show you a couple commercials, and I forgot my speakers, so let's hope that, um, that this has enough volume on it. So this is a pretty good message by our own uh, Joshua Ramos here, who's a client of mine. I love him. He's fantastic. Come on, internet. When you're injured in an accident, what good is a catchy phone number when the attorney you hired won't call you back? When you have a serious injury, you go through life-changing events, and you will have questions. When you hire an attorney, it's important to know they will be with you throughout the entire process. I'm Josh Ramos, and when you call my offices, you have my promise an attorney will be with you every step of the way. Visit RamosandRamos.com to learn more about your rights. Ramos and Ramos, standing up for you. So we can see in there, he put a lot of thought into his message. And, uh, and, and I think it, it pays off. Um, I'll show you one more example here. It happens to be my favorite. Somebody hurt! Basically, we wanted to get people into the gaming 
um, party rooms at Oogie Games. And we thought, well, what better way than to show a horrible birthday party, you know, and clowns. Everybody hates clowns. I mean, there are some people that like them, you know, but uh, I said, yeah, I'll be the hated clown. Um, now, this was the biggest shock to me, and I'll actually get in trouble for this, but everything in TV is really an auction. We're just selling space. Um, so we have like a suggested price. I'll give you an example. Like a Rachel Ray spot is like 45 bucks for a 30 second commercial. But you can give me a lower bid if you want. And um, the pros of a low bid, it saves you money and you can buy more spots. But the cons of a low bid is someone can outbid you. Um, and it might be more, worth more to us as a promotion. So I'll give you an example. So if I went in there and I said, I'll take $15 for Rachel Ray's spot. And then uh, somebody comes in with 30, it's gonna knock me out. Now let's say, I, I'm not moving much inventory, and uh, at the last second you say, hey, I want a, a, a Buffalo Bills ID, which normally sells at $750 uh, for a four second, um, and you say, I'll give you 100 bucks for it. I'll actually take it at the last minute, and then you're on during the Bills game. But it has to be the exact last minute. But it can't be a dollar, because then my station will say, well, that spot is worth something to us, so let's throw in a promotion for the news, you know, and drive people to the news. So it's just, it's just a good thing to know because when you go out and you're getting prices quoted from any TV station, the rates are super flexible. Um, and that's the biggest thing I, I can give anybody as a client. And a lot of my salespeople are like, no, don't do it, don't tell them. Um, but I, I see no reason not to. Uh, if I can make you happy, that is, that is my main goal. Um, we have wallet-friendly TV production. Um, you know, there's a myth that, uh, that TV production is really expensive, but the truth of it is, is that TV stations like mine and other TV stations will do production for you for free. And as you saw in those two spots we did, I think they're pretty good. Um, so basically, what does that include, you ask? Uh, script writing, approximately three hours of shooting, three hours of editing, voiceover, music, graphics, and text. Um, I really do think that this is one of the biggest ways that we can help the small business person is, uh, is basically coming in there. We have guys who have had over 28 years experience um, doing this. Jim DeVastas is my main producer for these and he is just phenomenal. He's come up with some great ideas um, and, and it's, just, it's just a great way to get into your into commercial. And then here's my, here's my, uh, my competition piece. So, let's say you have radio over here and you have television. You know, radio for the same price as television can give you all this number of spots. So would you rather have a hundred spots that are worth a penny each or one ten dollar spot where you're going to be in front of more people in front of your targeted audience? Um, I'll give you an example. One spot in our 6 p.m. news or 11 p.m. news is worth a week's worth of drive time radio advertising. So you're in front of more people than a whole week. Um, basically radio, it has a lack of reach. Um, there's no visual element, so it's really harder to connect with everybody. Um, they do have emotion though, and, and um, you got your satellite fragmentation, but one thing people don't talk about is when I'm in the car, I make a lot of phone calls. I'm not really listening to the radio, I'm driving around, I'm calling people, um, and I know a lot of people are calling too. Um, there's similar sounding ads, and of course, now we have internet fragmentation. You have your Pandoras that's coming uh, you know, standard in cars um, as well. But here's the cool thing, is radio is not all bad. It is a great piece to have in your marketing repertoire. You know, it especially goes hand in hand with TV, and especially hand in hand with direct mail. Where did he go? There he is. I'm like, direct mail! Um, so, you know, to dump all your money into, into one thing, I would love it. I would love people to come in and say, hey, I just want to advertise on TV. But a well-rounded marketing approach is definitely um, a good way to go. So, in closing, um, basically, we're using sight, sound, motion, and emotion um, to convey your message. 
uh, and connects with your customer in the most powerful way. And the cool thing, I don't know if you ever think, you know, just sit, sit back and think, when you're watching TV and you see someone on TV, you're like, wow, that business must be doing well. You know, they're on TV. You know, it gives you instant credibility. So like if someone goes on a show and, and, they're, and they're talking about um, home heating and, and energy saving, they're gonna be like, that's the expert. I like that guy. You know, I need to call that guy. So that's what TV can do for you. So if you have any questions, let me know after the meeting. I'll be glad to talk to you, uh, set up one-to-ones. And uh, that's my presentation. Thanks. <laughs>